After two days of travel, we finally arrived in St. John Pierre de Port, the start of the Camino Frances. In the next 36 days, we will walk nearly 900 kilometers, covering all of Spain. We will finish in Finisterre, the Roman end of the world. Today is our first and reportedly most difficult stage, crossing the Pyrenees. The clear skies ensure us good views, and we can't wait to get this trip started. We saw something today that we definitely won't forget. <laughs> this 25-kilometer day will end in Roncesvalles, a standalone Hotel Flash Albergue a few kilometers after the peak. We're starting the Camino. St. Jean Pied de Port in France. We're jet lagged and car sick <clears throat> and leaving about. Molly has a headache and we're leaving about an hour later than we would have liked. But we're full. We just had a great chocolate croissant and some coffee. And we're on our way. Here's the face of two pilgrims that had a difficult time getting here. But we're here now. Our faces will probably look different 27 kilometers from now. Isn't it 25? But we're the guy, the guy, the opposite, 27. Yeah. But here we go. Chemin de Saint Jacques. So up here is the place where we're going to choose which route we're going to take, and we're taking the Napoleon route, which is the route that goes over the top of the mountains. So. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna go left. Once we do that, we're committed. 27 kilometers over the top of the Pyrenees. I feel like we were already so committed. So did we ever consider taking the Val Carlos route? If it was raining, we probably would have taken that route. Well, we would have had to take it. Yeah, I don't think they'll, yeah, they don't want you to take the over the top route in bad weather. But it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. It's a little foggy right now, but yep. well, it's foggy year and out ago. So over the top we go. So we've walked 0.3 kilometers and I'm already huffing and puffing like a steam engine. Because it's been very steep uphill. And I think we have that for most of our 27 today. First route marker. Molly was so far ahead of me, she had to turn around and come back. I see a flat section. Woohoo! We just completed our first kilometer. It was a slow one because I stopped to take picture of every sign. So we were freezing when we were eating breakfast. But we've gone one kilometer. And I'm about to have to take off my rain pants because I'm already hot. So we're going really slow because it is so darn beautiful that we just have to keep stopping to take pictures and stuff. Molly feels like we're on the set of Beauty and the Beast. So technically the path we're on right now is a road. We've seen a car about every 20 minutes. Five kilometers to Orison. That's going to be our first stop. see some hikers up on the path up there. You can see here it's it's kind of uh, big switchbacks. First stinky smells of the trail. I guess it was hay. I'm not sure what that was. It was like hay mixed with a lot of sweat. Yeah. Anyway, first stink of the trail. We've gone about four kilometers. And so we're going to get off the road now. We're on a path. We've gone about five and a quarter kilometers. That's a little over three miles. And uh, so now we're, we're taking the trek over the mountains and it's, so this is there. This way is over. Open. Abierto. 
I'm not sure it'll show up in the video how steep this is. But it has been like this for two or three kilometers. So we're definitely earning a snacking horse. And also earning views like that. You can see where we just came up. All the other hikers think we're crazy, but we really enjoy going uphill. I look like I'm struggling here, but the truth is it was quiet, the views were beautiful. I was really enjoying it. Of course, Molly looks like she's not even struggling at all. Well, we'd only walked seven kilometers. Still. We found some explotos here in the Pyrenees. That one popped, yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. So this is gonna be our first stop. This is the albergue at Orison. Orison. Uh, yeah, originally, before we uh, had flight problems and arrived in Spain a day late, our first night was going to be at this albergue. We we're gonna have an easy first day and just hike to here and then relax up here for the rest of the day and walk the rest of the way to Roncesvalles the next day, which would have been today. But United had other plans. We got, we missed our flight from Newark to, um, to Madrid because our Houston Newark flight was four hours late. So we, changed it around and we took a taxi to St. John this morning and now we're just going to get a snack in Orson and we're going to walk the rest of the way and honestly I think it's going to be fine I think if we would have stopped here it'd be fine but we're not tired at all so we'll just keep have a snack and then keep going so we're trying fast cake and Molly says oh it's good so the cream is I don't know if the actual cake is well Thank you for ringing your bell for us. So this is how we're climbing now. It's just kind of back and forth. Gradual. Gradual along, big switchbacks to get us up there. So it's pretty comfortable. Yep, got our first 10K behind us. First 10K of the Camino and a flattish section coming up, so great. We are really getting up here. We see our first wild horses. These birds are big. We don't know what they are, but I'm thinking their wingspan is. Two or three feet. Oh, More. I was gonna say five or six. Cause yeah, they're way up there. You can see out in the distance, there's just tons of them. But there's even some that were flying kind of close through here. Yeah, why are they like four feet up? Yeah, we'll look it up tonight to see if we can figure out what they are. But they're big birds and they're definitely not buzzards or any type of carrion type bird i would say because they don't have that hooked beak and also look how many of them. yeah we feel like we're wearing out the word wow there are horses in every direction like just everywhere we look there are horses more down there we're basically never going to get to Roncesvalles because we keep stopping to stare at these horses, but when else are we going to see this? This part from horse into food truck has been full of livestock. 
cows, horses, and right now we're passing a big herd of sheep on both sides. This, this section is much easier than the first part. And of course we love livestock, so this is fun. So there's definitely some buzzard style action up here and a lot of it. So when we get over this hill, we're probably gonna run. Well, we'll see. It's a dead horse. It's it's a dead horse. Okay, we're gonna run past Molly. We have to get past it. I don't think there's any. Yeah, well, let's all go together. We're gonna run across with them. They, the people up there told us that uh, if you yell, the birds will go away, and then we're just gonna run past it. So we all six yell at the same time. And we look the other way. I'm saying. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh no, 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 no. I, to I don't think there's any way to get around it. We have to go past. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh sh Just don't look. Oh no, I can't. Molly, you gotta come, honey. Can we just go up there? It's in the middle. Go, go on this side. Go past it on this side. Are y'all ready? Oh my God. Everybody scream as loud as we can and run. Okay? Okay. Ah! Lord have mercy, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> Did everybody make it? Oh, Did we all make it? Uh, Thank you for telling us. We had someone before, yeah, how did you get through? Oh my gosh. Huh? Yeah. Never seen anything like that before. Oh my gosh. Oh my That's gross. So we're about to go from France to Spain. Goodbye France, hello Spain. We've been 18 total, we've been over 10 since the, the Aura Sun Albergue, so we're getting ready to eat. Which is a miracle that we even can think about eating after the horse incident. This, uh, we're taking a snack break. Yeah. Sick of the lads are stuck, is it? Well, uh, we think we have about seven kilometers more. We're all wishing it was less than that. But it'll be pretty. There was a fort back there and it, you could go either way to get to Rompas Valles and one way was 3.6 and the other way was 4.2. But the 3.6 way, they told us that the pilgrim office was very rocky and they didn't recommend it. And this way so far is really nice. So we, we took the longer route that has better footing. Yeah, the trail today's been a really fun one. Mossy Forest, their favorite. We are arriving 
and rump this vice. Okay. That's Kelly and Aaron in front of us. Another mother-daughter pair from California. We will. We'll see y'all on the trail tomorrow. Here we are. It's pretty amazing. Come along. Gracias. Pilgrims, welcome. Gracias. <laughs> the bells are ringing in Rumpus Valles. So see those windows and at the top of that that are open? That's our room. We arrived in Roncesvalles too late for the pilgrim mass, but we still got to light a candle for our loved ones back home. We think people drastically oversold the difficulty of this first day. Maybe it was just the adrenaline, but we didn't think it too hard. I have come to one conclusion today. If I ever write a book about the Camino, that horse will be in it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.